baseball fans, and welcome. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the San Francisco Giants and the Chicago Cubs. Just about ready to go. And on the mound now, Wade Miley. What do you look for here? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, Leading he is going to be four, very Francisco, tough for the opponent today. The second Tommy Listella to the plate. And a count Lestella. one and two. The pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. Ortega right there to make the ground. One down. Here's Brandon Crawford. The shortstop. Brandon Crawford. That's towards center. Ortega drifts towards it. That's out number two. Batting four. Man at first. The first up to the plate, it's nine. Brandon Belt. Brandon Belt. Has some trouble with it. He gets to the bag in time. He keeps his composure and they get the out. On to the bottom of the first. Bottom of the first. And towing the slab, Logan Webb. What do we have on him? Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Ford, get it. Way back there and gone. He circles the bases, and just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. Now at the plate, Frank Schwindel. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Slater sizes this one up, drops into the glove, and there's one away. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. It's a 1-1. Foul ball. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Out to center. Slater in position. And there's two down. Two outs, Batting bases cool. empty. And no next will be the cleanup hitter, Ian, Ian Happ. Yeah. Smoked on the ground a second. Whips it to first. And that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now all set for the start of the inning. And now the DH, Darren Ruff. And a pitch. And that's outside. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Swings through that one for strike two. Rusty Valentine doing the umpiring behind the dish for us. Maybe the best name in the league. <laughs> yeah, that's a... In the air, right center field. This is demolished. Way back and gone. Darren Ruff leaves the yard. And it ties it up. It's tied at one. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. Here's Jack Peterson. The 3 1. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher. In there oh, safely. That is the third and now it's Wilmer Flores. Four. At the belt and fires. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three. And they turn the double play. Austin Slater stands in. Austin. Tied up here in the early going. And a swing and a miss. Third out. 
The Giants are able to tie things up thanks to the solo home run. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So up now for Chicago, Patrick Wisdom. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. Patrick Wisdom circles the bases. And they jump out front. It's 2-1. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Power versus power right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? But a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. And the batter now, Clint Frazier. Slater ranging back. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Here's Jason Hayward. The right fielder. One down, base is empty. Hayward. To the right side. Toss the belt. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. Angleton Simmons, the next cup to hit. Check swing, but he went too far. Two and two. The wind of the pitch. Out to short. Crawford collects it. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Batting nut. Second baseman. You know, two out errors are kind of like two out walks and sometimes even worse. You, know, you think you're out of the inning, but all of a sudden, you get another out to get, and the offense has a great opportunity they're looking to take advantage of and make you pay for. That one the other way. They get the force, and that is that. Cubs get one on the solo shot, and it's now a 2 1 ball game. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Joey Bart. And there's ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Next offering is fouled back. The one two stays alive. And the pitch. Got it. And there's one down. Man, it's so tough to let a slow curveball like that one just travel all the way into the contact zone. You see it out of the hand, and you're telling yourself, off speed, stay back. But you just get too excited. You think you're going to hammer it, and you still end up way out in front. Off balance speed. There's one. And it's a double play to end the inning. Well, the second base. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning, here's the center fielder, Rafael Ortega. Ripped on a line. Yastrzemski makes the play, and there's one down. He was all now over back. that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Into center and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. That one ripped. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. And he deals. Now a rocket to right center. Way back there. And forget it. It's out of here. Ian Happ pops one out of here. And they add to their lead. It's 4-1.
Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Now, here is Patrick Wisdom, the solo homer his first time. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way and gone. Patrick Wisdom leaves the yard. His second home run of the game, and they tack on to their lead. It's 5-1. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. The throw in, and that's a two-out double. Jason Hayward, the next Cub to hit. Hammer, base hit. Frazier coming home, and now it rolls all the way to the wall. The run comes in to score from second, and the lead is up to five. Pulls into second, that's an RBI double. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat, and I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog, and these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. New arm out of the bullpen, Jacob Junis. He'll try to strand the runner at second. So two down, here's Nick Madrigal. Fly a ball to right. Yastrzemski makes the catch, and that'll do it. As we go to the top of the fourth. Now, Brandon Crawford. On a line, base hit. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost now start for some, no so that was nicely done to beat Brandon. the odds. That pretty yeah. much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And yeah, the batter now, Brandon Bell. And one and two. Count is one and two. The pitch. Bounce back to the mound. Fires over to Schwindel. Yeah, they get belt for the out. Now Darren Ruff will hit next. He's already homered here in this one. Hot shot to third. Rolls across the diamond, and there's two away. Jack Peterson stands the in. The left fielder, John Peterson. Line drive, caught! On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Cubs eight and the Giants one. Welcome back, bottom four. And now the center fielder, Rafael Ortega. The 1-1. One, one. And now one and two. In the air, out towards right center. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one down. So up next, Frank Number Schwindel. 18. Righty delivers. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Comes the 2-2. Ripped on a line to center. Slater pulls that one down, and there's two down. The catcher, number Two four. outs, base is empty. Wilson. Now the Cubs catcher, Wilson, Wilson Contreras. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Gone! Oh! He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they boost their lead. It's 10-1. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off.
And now, Patrick Wisdom drilled the left center way back there, and that is gone. He's done it again. His third home run of the game. It's 11 1. Singy, he's. Red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Zach Littell. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Righty to the plate. Fouled off. He was late. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Can't get their base hit. In safely with a double. His second of the day. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. A couple of doubles today for the DH. Digging in, Jason Hayward. And it's fouled away. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's going back. Back some more. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. Runner from second crosses the plate. And they extend their lead. They are really feeding off each other. That's five hits in a row. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. Now it's Andrelton Simmons. Runner leads away at second. Base hit, center field. Hayward around third. Here's the throw to the plate. But it's offline. He will score. And the lead continues to grow. This is unbelievable. That's now six. Six consecutive hits by this lineup. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Rafael Ortega stands in. Rafael Ortega. And now a full count. Simmons on second. Magical. On at first with two down. On the ground, right side. Bell takes it to the bag. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. But the long ball. We go to the top of the fifth. Stepping in, Wilmer Flores. Rip to short. Over to first. One up, one down. So digging in, Austin Slater. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Bounced up the middle. Simmons sends it over to first. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Now back. Two outs, base is empty. Joey. This is Joey Bart. Wow. And he hits a ground ball right side, and that's a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. So the batting order turns over. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Mike. He's 0 for 1. Yastrzemski. The pitch. On the ground, and that one finds its way through. So that's two straight, two out hits. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Just kept it simple. Yeah, played yeah. Pepper with the middle the of the base. infield and took it Tommy. back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And here is Tommy LaStella, and that one finds its way through. Now a long throw home, but it's offline. And they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. 
Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump off. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And Crawford is set down. And the inning is over. Home half. We head to the bottom of the fifth. So up now for Chicago, Frank Schwindel. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And one gone. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Ball to strike. Swings through that one. That's one of those swing now before the pitchers even let go of the baseball. Got it. And how about that? It's an immaculate inning. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now here is Brandon Bell on the ground right side. Madrigal on to first, and yeah, they get Belt for the out. And now Darren Ruff. Here's a 1-1. One -one. That one fouled off. The 1-2. Bounce to the left side. Gathers and throws to first. Two up, two down. The left two outs, the point base point is empty. And Josh. now Jock Peterson. Peterson. Fouls one off. Two and two. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this um, but yeah you definitely expected to see some offense coming up fires over to first third out and that ends the frame and welcome back John Shopey with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the six Patrick Wisdom hard hit right side and foul ball now all leave it up Stays alive. That misses the zone, and it's three and two. The line to kick the pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Right hander kicks deals. He swings and fouls one off. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that's the first out. Now it'll be the Cubs' DH. Clint Frazier. Now oh, that high four-seam fastball has become such a staple Wait. as a strikeout pitch Wait. over the years. And what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely even up. Ooh, bye yeah. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. Two two down. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. Jason Hayward now at the plate. Kicks and deals. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Speaking of walks, did you see anything special during your walk into the ballpark today? I know you like to take in all the surroundings. I just love interacting with the people. It's just fun to connect. I mean, as I was headed up to the booth, one guy shouted at me, make sure to say hi to Kenny. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Hayward over at second. Simmons at first, two out of the inning. Madrigal. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That ends the frame. 
back here at the ballpark. Down the third base. Here comes the manager out of the Cubs dugout, and he will make a move to the pen. New pitcher now, Michael Gibbons. And a healthy size lead for him to go to work with. Pitch misses inside, and it's two and one. Right handed reliever. Got him. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Well, that at bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Boots it. But he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Here's the catcher, Joey Bart. Here's a 1 1. And now two and two. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. And a foul ball, he stays alive. 2 2 now. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. I think the key is arm. Now on the bump, Harleen Garcia. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Here's the center fielder, Rafael Ortega. The pitch. Going to count one and two. Well, on the mound, you take a note. You see the hitter's willingness to chase that pitch upstairs. Get deeper in the count. Try to climb the ladder. One, two now. And down on strikes. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. But he found a way to just get it by him. Kicks and fires. Nope. Movement in the bullpen. Jose Alvarez getting loose out there. Leon warming up as well. And a 2-1 on the way. Just a weak fly ball this time. Long run tracks it down. Out number two. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. This guy has turned into one of the best catchers in the game, but was originally signed by the Cubs as an infielder. The 1-1 is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. Two down, nobody on. The punch out there. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Welcome back. And now the right fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. So now one and two. One and two. And that one is lifted in the air. Simmons settles under it. Makes the catch. One down. Now back. And up next for the Second Giants, season. Tommy Listella for the fourth time Lestella. tonight. Swing and he breaks his back. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. The batter, number 35, shortstop, Brandon Crawford. Brandon Crawford digs in now. One for three. One, one now. Lifted in the air, out to left. Pat has a beat on it. Makes the catch in and over. One and two here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Up next to the Cubs, the third baseman, Patrick. The 2 on. Wisdom. The batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. One thing on his mind right there with that swing. He's trying to go deep. And now the lefty swings and misses. That's out number two. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Now yeah, he's really settling in hitter. and getting a feel Wait. for his pitches, throwing him where he Wait, wants here. to right now. So we'll see how long he got him. That's his second strikeout.
And welcome back. Now it's going to be Brandon Bell. Stays alive. And the right-hander deals. Slow roller to first, and he grabs it foul. Next offering is foul back. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Got him looking. Now two away. And now Jack Peterson really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Three. And down on strikes. And that is the ball game. This one was pretty much decided in the third inning. From that point on, all they had to do was play fundamentally sound baseball to secure the win. And they did just that. that the ball game. Four hours and 16 minutes. Running us here this evening, we remind you to please try home safely.